The section is concrete. Concrete is a composite material composed of sand, coarse aggregate, cement, and water, which is applied in a plastic or liquid state. Under normal temperatures, the initial set will occur in hours. The greatest asset of concrete is its high compressive strength, durability, and ability to withstand weathering. Portland cement is hydraulic cement. It was patented by Joseph Aspen in England in 1824 and is called Portland cement because it's similar in color to naturally occurring stone found in Portland, England. A bag of Portland cement weighs 94 pounds and has a volume of about one cubic yard. Hydraulic cement sets up underwater. Therefore, it must have sufficient water to supply the entire hydration process. If the concrete is not kept damp, it will not cure properly and it will not reach the desired compressive strength, which will increase the probability of cracking. Normal concrete reaches its desired compressive strength in 28 days, so it needs to have 80% humidity for 28 days in order to reach its maximum strength. Maintaining moisture content. In order to maintain a minimum 80% moisture content, it is important to use a 6 mil plastic liner under the foundation. Another technique is to saturate the sand under the, under the pour with water to keep it cool as it's drying. And then once you set your concrete, to coat it with something like sealcrete. Coat the top so that it holds in the moisture for 28 days. If it doesn't have uh, moisture in it, it won't set up properly and it'll start cracking. If the water is allowed to drain out of the concrete, the hydration process will stop before the concrete reaches its maximum strength. What is equally important is that there will be unhydrated cement powder in the concrete mix that will have a tendency to pop out, crack, and cause structural weakness. The Portland cement acts as an adhesive to hold the aggregate, the rocks, together to form a rock-like substance. Cement powder usually constitutes 25 to 40 percent of the total volume of the concrete. Aggregates are sand and stone used in the making of concrete and constitute 60 to 75 percent of the concrete volume. The purpose in using large and small aggregates together is to minimize voids in the concrete. The more aggregate used in the concrete, the less expensive the concrete mix will be. So it's a trade-off. You, you use more rocks, it's less expensive, but it's not going to be as strong. All right, the specific gravity of concrete is important when you're building forming, okay, to contain the liquid concrete. And when you're making a concrete pour on a flat floor, like a second story floor, the specific gravity of most aggregates ranges from a normal specific gravity of 2.4, which equates to 150 pounds per cubic foot, including the weight of the reinforcing bars, to an upward range of specific gravity of 2.9, which equates to 181 pounds per cubic foot, including the weight of the reinforcing bars. There's also lightweight concrete for roofs that will weigh about 100 pounds per cubic feet and that uses either perlite or vermiculite as the stone in the concrete. The quality of the water used in concrete is important to the final product. Silt or clay in the water will have the effect of forming a fine layer between the aggregate and reinforcing bars in the hydraulic cement. Okay. Excessive amounts of oil in the water can decrease concrete strength by up to 20%. Air entering concrete is used to increase the working life of concrete that is subject to freezing and thawing. Air entraining improves the workability of the concrete and uh, you usually still trowel the surface so that, it, so that uh, air entrained concrete will resist abrasion better. To minimize cracking in concrete, the most effective method is to use control joints and properly positioned reinforcing steel bars. Control joints should not be confused with construction joints, which are used to contain separate pours, such as the last pour of the day from the first pour of the next morning. Five common types of Portland cement. You've got type one Portland cement is general purpose cement. Type two Portland cement is used where salt sulfates are likely to attack the concrete. Type three Portland cement is generally called high early concrete. 
Type 4 Portland cement generates minimal heat, and Type 5 Portland cement is only used for concrete exposed to high levels of sulfates. There are other types of Portland cement, such as white Portland cement. It's commonly made from Type 1 or Type 3 Portland cement. White Portland cement is primarily a cosmetic product and conforms to the same specifications as the gray Portland cement. Waterproof Portland cement is made by adding stearates to the Portland cement during final grinding. The number one factor in quality of the cement is the cement paste itself, how it's made and what goes into it. Calculating slump. Slump refers to the consistency, workability, and plasticity of concrete. Workability is a measure of how difficult it is to place and finish concrete. Slump is a measure of consistency and workability. Generally, the higher the slump, the wetter the concrete. Slump is generally specified in a range from 2 inches to 4 inches. Batching is the accurate process of weighing or controlling the volume of measuring ingredients as they are put into the mixer when you're making concrete. High tensile strength. When concrete is combined with steel, reinforcing bars, the concrete takes on the ability to withstand elongation, which is called high tensile strength. The typical minimum delivery quantity is 5 cubic yards, and this is commonly referred to as a short load. Consistency is loosely defined as the wetness of the concrete mixture. It is measured in terms of slump. The higher the slump, the wetter the mixture, and it affects the ease with which the concrete will flow during placement. It is related to, but not synonymous with, workability. Maximum time and rotation. The specification also requires that the concrete must be delivered and discharged from the truck mixer agitator within one and a half hours after introduction of the water to the cement and aggregate, okay? Or 300 turns, one or the other, either an hour and a half or 300 turns in the tank. Test cylinders, which are steel mold six inches in diameter by 12 inches high, are used to obtain samples of concretes either after seven days for high early or 28 days of curing. The samples are crushed to ensure that the concrete meets minimum compressive strength. Maintaining moisture content, protecting concrete with a covering in the early period to prevent loss of moisture in hot, dry air or at low temperatures is an important factor in the development of both strength and durability in concrete. A plastic liner can be used under the concrete and a chemical spray on top of the concrete to prevent moisture loss. The end.